I had an amazing opportunity to sit next to the chairman of LinkedIn for a number of years when we were growing that business. And one day he was asked, hey, Reek, you've got this weird business, this LinkedIn thing. Like, who's your biggest competitor and who worries you the most? Because you've got this like unique recruiting product. You've got a subscription business. It's a new professional network. We've never seen anything like it before. And um, so who worries you the most? And his answer to that question, I think, captures the, the domain that we all operate in now, um, when he said, I worry more about the company that hasn't been invented yet. The company that's going to have a paradigm that's going to completely transform the industry and take me out of business just like that. And if you think about it, I mean, who was, who was the guy, Andy Grove, only the paranoid survive? I mean, we live ground zero in some of the most radical change that we've ever seen in our professional lives. Of all the unicorns that are out there, I think maybe one of them is over 10 years old right now. When you look at all those companies that have just come out of nowhere with a billion dollar valuation. Things are moving at a rapid pace. In fact, I don't know how many of you are familiar with the World Economic Forum, but it's a group of incredible minds that meets every year in Davos, Switzerland. And I'm sure they you know, smoke fancy cigars and have great talks, but educators, philanthropists, um, doctors, researchers all get together and talk about what are the biggest trends that you're seeing in the world that, that keeps you up at night, and what can we do as a very thought leadership community to address those? And last year when they got together, the big theme for them was that we're on the eve of a fourth industrial revolution. Now, I know I'm preaching to the choir when I'm telling you we're in the middle of some amazing digital transformation that's impacting everything, how we live, how we communicate, how we communicate at work, with our family, with our children, how we educate, and how we operate as businesses. But I think what we haven't done through this big transformation is really transform that into thinking around how we lead people and how we operate in this crazy world is really changing. And so I want to share with you just some thoughts and observations that I've had in working with some really interesting companies that are growing super fast and having to just reconcile with the reality where we have more information than we could ever possibly process as individuals today. I mean, is anyone feeling like I'm dominating my inbox right now with email? Anyone feel like that? Like I'm crushing it? Right? Does anyone feel like when someone says, hey, did you see my tweet? I have a thought in your head. I haven't talked to my mom in two weeks. I don't care about your Twitter. <laughs> like, we have more information coming at us than we've ever had before. And as leaders, as people who have to use judgment and make decisions, we are under more pressure than we've ever felt before. I don't know if you all feel that. I definitely feel that. I do a lot of executive coaching some amazing people and they're feeling it too and it's like a fight for personal time too it's like your personal time with your family is under attack work-life balance we don't even have that conversation anymore it's over it's about work-life integration someone asked me one time hey Steve how did you figure out that whole work-life balance thing and go I'll let you know if it ever happens <laughs> um, and that's a big part of I think if we're going to be effective how we have to deal with this new crazy digital world that, that we operate in <coughs> And I think the thing that concerns me the most uh, as I look at the discipline of leadership is that really this concept of technology is changing faster than our ability to keep up with it. And I think we're seeing that play out. You know, we're hearing a lot about you know, robotics and artificial intelligence and jobs getting replaced by robots. I read an article recently said um, there's a new trend with human employees. And I'm like, when did we differentiate the human employees from non human employees? <laughs> Where did that come from? I was in the San Jose Mercury News a few weeks ago. I'm like, whoa, we're even talking about non-human employees right now. Um, and this is a challenge, and it's one of the reasons why I founded a digital university with some friends of mine, is because we're not upscaling our workforce as fast as the technology is changing. And it's the, it's the individuals and I think the organizations that figure that out that are going to have a real competitive advantage.